Good evening, everyone. We did it. We filled up all of our museum collection. Appreciate it. Big thanks to... This is Pick Your Team 12. Big thanks to... All of these folks right here for getting to the second half of Museum Collection Baseball, which is right here. Stephen K with that last spot mojo, Pirates. Stay tuned for next week when we replace the toner. It'll be pretty exciting. We'll be back next Tuesday. All right, so let's slide these over. There you are. Good luck, everyone. We had a nice first half. We saw the frame out of the first half already, but still could be a lot of monsters in the second half, I hope. First half, I mean, museum collection, I feel like every museum collection has been pretty, you know, overall pretty solid. My guess is that this will also be pretty solid, if not great. Uh-oh. Bill Talent with a ch issuing a challenge. BT is saying, I, I bet you can get another week out of that toner. I don't know. I've been shaking it for a few weeks, Bill. I, I, I shook it around a couple weeks ago, and uh, and then it, and it was it was uh, crisp and dark for like the next couple weeks. It's been a struggle this week, though. Ah, TJ TJP saying, "Listen, there were two last case had two frames. This could be a two framer as well." I like the positivity. All right, out of 50, Hammer and Hank. Got Daniel Murphy, Nolan Ryan. Jackie Robinson, Chris Sale, Javier Baez. Got these guys here too. And Giancarlo Stanton to 150. Braun Schorber and... The Tomei reproduction. I mean, some of them look so good. The reproduction looks so good that it almost looks like a sketch card from a distance. And we've got Laser Show, 25 out of 50, Dustin Pedroia. That goes to Bill Talon with the Red Sox. On this side, we have Chance Cisco, 76 out of 299 for the O's. Another one for Bill. BT. I think there's only one bill in this break, right? Behind Babe Ruth is an upside. Well, they messed up. An upside down Didi Gregorius. What are you going to... 29 out of 149 <laughs> triple relic and autograph. It's been a long week, folks. TJP with that one. And Arthur reporting that Diamondbacks officially won. Thus completing the destruction of the San Diego Padres 20 to 5. Jeez, Corey Seager reveals Yadier Molina, Carlos Martinez, Matt Carpenter and Wayno 45 out of 75. Diamondback scored in every inning except for the bottom of the 5th. Next box. All right, Arthur wants to go. <laughs> it could be the night. Maybe a Goldie. Goldschmidt for Arthur in the last break of Museum Collection. And to commemorate the uh, the Diamondbacks' destruction. How did Goldie do today? Two for three. Three RBIs and a walk. Not bad. Clemson card saying, get me a laundry tag. They're sick. Yeah, they're, they are sick, but I don't know. It's not easy to pull those guys. There's only one of them. Pretty rare.
All right, there's Rhino to 150. All right. We've got a, a pirate. Yar. Out of 35, Josh Harrison. For Stephen K, last spot mojo. There you go. A little something for the last spot mojo. Francisco Mejia reveals a Eric River Thames. 188 out of 299. Rick T with the Brew Crew. Nice one, Rick. A lot of people were looking for this guy earlier. We got the canvas Al K line and a dual relic and autograph Josh Harrison, two fifty nine out of two ninety nine. Again, last spot mojo Stephen K with the Buckos. And behind King Felix is a quad relic primary pieces Noah Syndergaard, thirty out of seventy five. Adam Kupperman with the Metropolitans. Next box. All right, Josh Donaldson, Rizzo, Jonesy. Strasburg to 99. That is for TJ Poyer. TJP with that one. All right, behind this sketch reproduction of Jimmy Fox, who was, I believe, the inspiration for Jimmy Dugan in A League of Their Own, Carlos Correa, three pieces of his lumber, piece of his jersey. 46 out of 99, Rick T with that one. It's a good-looking one. Behind Cody Bellinger is a dual relic and autograph, his teammate, Alex Wood. One, two, three out of two ninety nine. I think he's starting tomorrow. I'm going to the ball game tomorrow. I haven't, I haven't been to a single ball game this year, folks. This is extraordinarily late for me. Usually, I knock one out in the first month of the season. I just didn't have time. All right, next one is Brandon Woodruff, forty four out of fifty. Another one for Rick. He's heating up. NBA Jam rules. Uh, Dodgers auto goes to Bill Talon, by the way. And, woo, this is nice. I like that Robinson Cano patch up there. And there's out of 50, Nelson Cruz. 42 out of 50. That's uh, Robinson Cano's number, right? Didn't he get grandfathered in 42? Or is that Mariano Rivera? Anyhow, nice dual relic for the Mariners, Bill Talon. Is all forgiven when Rollins Cano comes back? I mean, they're in the heat of a, a playoff race, right? They can maybe get the division away from the Astros. That would be quite a feat. But a wild card for sure. Maybe. Cano should be able to come back at some point this season.
kind of a. I feel like a lot of. Are you about the Mariners for a friend? Is your friend bummed about Robinson Cano? I feel like a lot of a lot of people were. Oh, is he not allowed to play in October? Well, he he could get his team to October. I feel like a lot of people were bummed about that news. I. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I feel like a lot more players roid or do use PEDs a lot more than we think. I just didn't really cross my mind that that Cano would be one of them. All right. Ninety-five out of ninety-nine. The Wizard, Ozzy Smith. Cody Bellinger to 150. Kershaw, Cano, and Altuve. Yeah, apparently, I actually kind of forgot about that. Chris Torres is reminding us that if you get popped for PEDs, you're automatically banned from playing in the postseason that year. There's Trey Turner who reveals... Another Whit Merrifield, this time with patches loaded. Look at this, 274 out of 299. Two color, same shade, two color, dual relic, and his autograph. Nice Royals pickup, man. I like Whit Merrifield. There's Zach Granke, 95 out of 99. Another primary pieces for Arthur and his Diamondbacks. Man of Steel. And we've got Lucas Sims, 54 out of 299 for the Bravos. Patrick Kay with the Braves. Sandy Koufax will reveal a pirate. 10 out of 50, Josh Harrison. That is for Stephen K. Last spot, Mojo getting a few things here. Two boxes to go. Eight hits to go. Good luck, everybody. Our last bit of museum collection for the time being. Big thanks to everybody who rocked through these breaks with us. Chris Horace saying... Cano will be our DH in 2019 after Cruz is not re-signed. Mariners have a good, uh, they have a good team. Can they do it, Chris Torres? Can they win the division? I don't know if they're going to win the division. Wild card spot? That's got to be solid. Are they going to make moves at the trading deadline? What do they what do they need? I don't know, they got a they got a solid offense. They've constructed a pretty good team up there. Um I like I like Wade LeBlanc, LeBlanc, LeBlanc. I like uh Paxton out of 150 Jackie Robinson. I'd like for I feel like I feel like if, if we got, like, vintage King Felix for, like, the last couple of months of the season and in the playoffs, that would be awesome. You know, if he brings back a little vintage King Felix would be cool. All right. Behind Justin Verlander is... Uh, Nick Castellanos, former teammate maybe? I think they overlapped, right? 21 out of 35. That goes to Rick T. Sorry, not Rick T. in the Astros, but Samuelson in the Tigers. Chris Torres says, for his Mariners, wild card for sure, and the moves will be made for starting rotation depth. All right. 
And there's Sonny Gray out of 299. Chris, what would it take for the Dodgers to get Kyle Seeger to create a Seeger middle infield in LA? Is he going to be a free agent soon? I think you guys locked him up, right? Chipper Jones might have to be a trade. We'll reveal a quartet of Yankees. Gary Sanchez, D.D. Gregorius, Brett Gardner, and Greg put a bird on it. 89 out of 99 for the Bronx Bombers. TJP with that. All right, Seeger is locked up for a very long time. That's what I thought. Behind the sketch reproduction of Mr. Derek Jeter is a dual relic and autograph, Starling Marte. 20 out of 50. The Pirates were just sitting there until Stephen K picked him up. Last spot, Mojo strikes again. All right, so if, C if, if Kyle Seager is locked up for a while, then it would require probably a lot of hot Dodger prospects that probably won't be willing to, uh, the Dodgers won't be willing to give up. Does Kyle Seager play, still play second? Is that where they have him? Or he can play second, right? Or he's at, he's played third today. The Dodgers' second base situation has been has been pretty uh, pretty bleak. I think Logan Forsythe is okay, but he hasn't been great. We've been re-signing. Chase Utley for like the last three years to like one year deals just to manage second base. We had Howie Kendrick there for a little bit. Chris Taylor for a little bit, but he's better suited in the outfield. Kike Hernandez will sometimes do there. But Dodgers could use a proper second base. Although I, th I actually think the Dodgers will probably, I think Brian Dozier of the Twins is someone that the Dodgers have been eyeing for a while. They might get him on a on a short and relatively inexpensive deal. I don't think they'll make a move for someone like like that. His home runs are masking his low average. Well, if he's hitting dingers in Safeco, out of fifty, Yoan Mankata, White Sox. Jacob DeGrom to 150. Oh, that's right. We did get Chris Taylor from you guys, from the Mariners. Yeah, Chris is reminding me that, hey, Chris Taylor couldn't play a lick for us, and all of a sudden the Dodgers made him good, which was awesome. Well, I'm glad you feel good about it. I, I don't know what it was. Um, I think he just kind of figured some things out in the minors, and I think, you know, did the whole, like, I think reapproached his swing, maybe – did some of that launch angle stuff, and then something just clicked. And then there you have the Chris Taylor. Did he started off the season slow, and I thought, there's Josh Harrison, 25. Nice. Uh, another one for Stephen K. I was nervous that, that last year was uh, kind of a one-hit wonder kind of thing for Chris Taylor, but last couple months or so, he's been, he's been coming around. All right, last four hits, last three hits now. We've got Jack Flaherty. 254 out of 299 for Captain Jack Flaherty. I do remember that Zach Lee move. I remember actually kind of being happy about that. <laughs> he was supposed to be a top prospect, but didn't quite work out. Oppo Joe Mojo, 48 out of 75, Brandon Crawford. And our last hit. Our last hit behind Alex Bregman is going to be dual relic and autograph. Eddie Rosario. I don't think we've seen the Eddie Rosario yet. 261 out of 299. Eddie Rosario, who's been raking this season. Adam Copperman with the Twins. That's a nice one. All right. There you have it, boys and girls. Pick your team number 12 in the books Break credit video will be in a separate one. Thanks for breaking with us at jazbeeshobbyland.com. Keep checking back. We may get some more of this stuff in the future, but the, got a bunch of new releases coming out next week. So keep 
getting into the action on the website right there. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.